<sighs> Can I just be real with y'all for a minute? This is hard, bro. Like, it's tough doing what you love to do or chasing after what you love to do sometimes isn't the most lucrative at times. Um, sometimes things don't move as fast as you want them to at times. Uh, sometimes you go through a lot of stress with this. Um, and you have to fight, you know, with keeping yourself motivated and you have to fight with keeping your mental health together. Uh, you have to fight with keeping your family together. And it's just a, it's a grind. It's a fight. And sometimes that can take a toll on you. Um, I think a lot of the times when I'm looking at, hey, I'm not doing enough or a lot of times when I'm looking at, hey, I should be in a different place. I should be a lot further than I am. I don't really give myself enough credit for how far I've come up until this point. Um, and I think that is a struggle for a lot of us as filmmakers. We look at other creatives or we look at other outlets or we look at other people and we kind of think like, yo, why am I not there yet? Or, yo, how did that person get there? And I know I'm better than that person. Or I know that I can do exactly what they do. And that can be extremely frustrating. Um, it can be frustrating to the point where it makes you break down, um, makes you want to quit, makes you want to give up. Um, I've been there. Um, Shit, I might even be there right now. Who knows? But uh, you got to find something, something to grab onto, something to push you to the next level, something that's going to help you uh, remember, remember who you are and remember why you're here. Um, I've given myself a lot of, I've given myself the opportunity to quit doing this and to go and do something else. I've looked back and kind of seen what I was doing before this and seeing how, oh yeah, it was uh, steady. I was making good money, state job, benefits, blah, 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 401k, all that good stuff. And you look at that and you start to think, damn, did I, did I make a bad decision by chasing this dream, which can seem impossible. But I think that's a, I think it's, it's okay to feel that way, but I think you gotta find your way out of it. You always have to find your way out of it. You have to get up in the morning and just grind and grind and grind and grind and fight those, uh, fight those demons that will always be on your shoulder talking to you. Um, Try to find that motivation on the other shoulder and listen to that a little bit more. Lean into that a little bit more because what's for you is for you. And, and as I said, I've given myself many opportunity to just stop. And every time I find myself coming back to this, like, I don't think it's a coincidence or, you know, you may or may not know, like me stopping YouTube and then doing YouTube, me stopping short films and then making short films, me, uh, you know, falling off here and then picking up there, picking it back up. And I think a lot of times it's just the, the climate. I mean, we went through something drastic with COVID, right? And we had to figure out how to rebuild it back. Like I was working and pumping and doing everything before that happened. And then it kind of slowed down. And a lot of jobs that people had started to be a little bit more held close to the chest. Now you don't get as many calls and you got to do a lot more outreach. Um, but you just got to step it up. 
And you just got to push. And you just got to know what's for you is for you. So I think in the, I think the biggest thing is making sure that your core needs are taken care of, you know, food, shelter, uh, you know, family, love, all that good stuff. And then comes the sacrifice where you have to figure out what are you sacrificing to get to where you want to go. I know there are things that I have sacrificed and will sacrifice in the future in order to be able to get to this next level. But I want the time and the work that I put in right now to set me up to be able to be just kind of on coast within the next couple of years. Like I want to coast. I don't want to have this struggle or survival uh, mentality that I have to live in all the time. You know what I mean? Even though I don't think I'll ever lose the hunger or the ambition to get bigger or to uh, push beyond what I am at any point. Um, but I want to have that option to just kind of chill or not even have the option to chill, have that option to be like, hey, this is what we're doing. You have that project over there. You have that project over there. You have that project over there. And then we all report back and now we're just running as an efficient studio. The goal is to just be a studio creating things that we love to create and also creating jobs and, you know, handling, uh, you know, addressing diversity issues within the film industry. So that's always the big goal. And, well, that is my big goal, I should say. And uh, I think it's something that's worth fighting for. And I just say all that to say, I think that this is also worth you fighting for. So if you're struggling in your filmmaking journey or not feeling like you're in a place where you want to be, just know that what's for you is for you and it'll happen. It will happen at some point and maybe it's just not your time. I mean, listening to, I wish I could say what song it is, but Big Sean says, you know, it took 10 years to be an overnight success. Maybe it just ain't overnight yet. Who knows? That might sound crazy. Sounded kind of crazy when I said it, but. 10 years to be an overnight success. That's a crazy thing to think about. But when you hit that point of success, after those 10 years, you'll always look back and say, damn, I really came, came from there, from nothing. I really laced them up. I really got busy. You know what I mean? So I don't even know if this is actually a, a YouTube video or if this is just me talking to myself right now. But um, I hope that this helps somebody out there. Um, I hope that this helps new filmmakers to not be discouraged. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Let's lace them up. Let's get it.